We've got a check engine light with an EVAP large leak code. We gotta check this out. Oh, look at that, that's the problem. Nice and easy fix, just tighten this down, make sure it's locked, and you're good to go. Just kidding, it's a lot more involved than that. Let's dive into it. Now the gas cap is a great place to start. You wanna make sure it's tight, make sure the ceiling surface looks good, but there's other parts involved. We should be looking at the purge valve, the vent valve, the EVAP canister, the fuel tank, and the fuel filler neck. And once you find out which parts you need, you can order those at 1AAuto.com. Under the hood is where you're gonna find the EVAP purge valve. It's located right here. Every vehicle, it's gonna look similar to this, and you're gonna have a hose that goes to the intake so you can get intake manifold vacuum. This valve is normally closed, and when it's activated by the computer, it will open up. When it fails, it's either gonna get failed stuck closed or failed stuck open, and then you're gonna end up with an EVAP-related code. Underneath the vehicle near the canister and the gas tank, you're gonna have the vent valve. It's the opposite of the purge. Normally, the vent valve is open, and when it's commanded, it will be closed. One way to check this entire system is by using a smoke tester. You can close off the system either electronically, closing off the vent valve, or you can just pop it off, put some kind of plug on there. Anything in the system that starts leaking while that's closed, that's gonna be the source of the problem that you're gonna to have to replace that component. And here we have the EVAP canister, or sometimes known as a charcoal canister. And how that's gonna fail is either it's gonna plug up with fuel, or it's gonna leak. So if you were smoke testing, you should be able to see a leak coming from a crack somewhere in the canister. And working our way over, you have the fuel tank. Now you might have a leak in which you actually see fuel dripping on the ground, but normally if it's an EVAP related leak, it's gonna be the seal around where the sending unit is on top of the tank. Sometimes you can access that from underneath the back seat. And last, you wanna check out the fuel filler neck. In our case, there is a lot of rust buildup on the filler neck and that caused it to leak. So let's check it out on the bench. All right, you can see right here on the filler neck, there's a lot of corrosion. You can actually peel some of the rust. Some of that is a little bit of salt and stuff. And that's gonna be porous and not create a good seal. So you gotta replace this. There's no fixing this. You can get this at 1AAuto.com. We hooked up a smoke machine to this and right near the bracket, we see smoke coming out. So there's corrosion right there and that's what's causing this leak. 